this is Mindy McIntosh Shutter from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Dining University. And today I'd like to show you how to combine marigolds and rosemary in the same container. Now you can plant that combination in a traditional garden, a raised bed such as this, or a container garden. Prior to planting though, you're going to need to prepare your soil. And what you need to do is you need to make sure that your soil is thoroughly mixed add some nice uh, mature compost to it and you can also add as long as you're not planting seeds a slow release fertilizer and that's very important for the gardener that is forgetful like I am and I forget to fertilize my plants. The next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to plan out your plantings. Now I like to just plant my marigolds and rosemary in a row. It helps me uh, maintain the plant material weed control, etc. easier when it's in a row versus planted haphazardly. But if you're planting in a container and you want a more decorative approach, by all means, plant them in any type of design that you would like that is pleasing to you. Now this marigold plant, I actually just pulled out from a location it was growing in. And this is not a traditional plant that you would plant. It is a marigold, but if you purchased a plant in a container, I'm going to show you how to properly remove your plants from the container before you plant. So I'm just going to go ahead and plant this marigold and show you how to plant a marigold plant. And what you're going to do is you're going to dig the hole and you want the roots covered but you don't want soil up to this bottom leaf. And in other words, you don't want to plant the plant any deeper than what it was in its original container. And you're just going to fill in the hole, making sure that all the roots are covered, and then gently push down on the soil. Now the rosemary is in more of a traditional type of container that you would find at a nursery or I actually purchased this plant in the produce section of a grocery store. And the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to remove it gently from the container. Now, some people will actually slit this container with a knife. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna tip the plant upside down, gently tap the bottom, squeeze the sides a little bit, and release the rosemary out of the container. The next step that you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to tease the roots, which is just loosening the roots up a little bit if you skip this step, what will happen is the roots will continue to grow in the shape of the container that it came out of instead of expanding outward. And you don't want that to happen. Now, the next step is you need to dig your hole so that it is about two times the width of your rosemary and the same depth of your rosemary. And once you have your hole, check. Now what I like to do is I like to put my hand on the soil surface and make sure that the soil surface on the rosemary is the same height as the soil surface in the garden and then I fill in. Once you have that done, you will need to water in and water in a couple of times a week just to make sure that those roots get a really good start. And that's all there is to it, planting rosemary and marigolds together. So until we meet in the garden again, this has been Mindy McIntosh Shedder from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Nine University.